Hey weirdos. I'm gonna love you till my lungs give out. All right, we are back for another video. Another honest Q&A. We decided to do one of these because you guys seemed to enjoy the last one because we were super honest and we didn't lie and or shy away from any questions. So that's exactly what we are going to do. We took to Twitter. You guys can follow us on all of our social media. The links are in the description. And are you ready? Mm-hmm. Y'all want to know all about the sex is what it is. Always. Who's the top and who's the bottom? All Little right. Hello, princess over here. Oh, yeah. All right. How often do you guys have sex? Have you ever fallen to the lesbian deathbed? What is that? When you, like, stop having sex. That's a thing? Like, friends with no benefits, mm -hmm. basically? Yeah. Okay, friends with no benefits. What was the question? <laughs> um, how often do you guys have sex? I don't know. We don't count. That's weird. To be I will say it's a lot more since I've been off my medication. Yeah. Yes. I was on a lot of medication that makes your like sex drive really, 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 really low. Yeah. So I feel like since I've been off of that medication, not my fault. I can't help it. I can't help what this body, what this body does. Do you use dental dams? Butterfly clips or something like that. Dam? It's like saran wrap. It's disgusting. Basically, it's like saran wrap, right? Let me see. Lay down. Uh, yeah. So this is dental dam. Not this big. What a shield. She didn't have a wife's that vagina. Jesus Christ. And then you just like put it over the vaheen, as what we call it. And then it's it's like a female condom, I guess. Um, I have sex the regular way. Who is better in bed? I think Sam's eyebrow raise answered that question. <laughs> well, like, it, is it, how is that like, determined? It's not like a point system. It's not like we're like, but in you a, get a point for this, like round one. But in like a relationship, how do you even like say? How does that even happen? What's the one thing about each other that you absolutely hate? Um, I'm perfect. I hate how critical Alyssa is. Yeah. No, like she's criticizing like my spending habits and my OCD tics and all of that. Yeah, and I think the things that I don't like about her are her OCD tics and like the way that she spends her money. She's bad at it. I'm sorry. When I still say it though. I, yeah, no. Her parents would agree with me though. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Darling. Mrs. Darling. If you could try one drug with no consequences, what would you try? You know what? You actually told me this like a long time ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, you told me that if you, you and your, your friends, when we first met, you said that you wanted to try cocaine. You guys all be locked in a room and then you guys try cocaine. Oh, we did. I did say that one. Yeah. Time. Yeah. No, that's not. Yeah, but I've idea. had ample amounts of opportunities to, and I haven't because I'm. A good girl. That's true. Zach Efron did offer her cocaine. That's a factual story. That's an actual story he did. And she did say no to Zach Efron. Yeah. With his, we could have had his sperm by now. He was very nice. Yes. Hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. I would not. I'm already on a lot of drugs, okay? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> on any drugs. She I don't want to try drugs. Do you regret ever meeting each other in the sense of what else is out there? Oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked Um, no, I don't. Do you? All the time. 100%? 100%. Really? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? I'm kidding. <laughs> no. No. So, <laughs> no, yeah. No. So, this is turning into a breakup video. People give you a hard time now that you two are engaged. No. No. People don't give a fuck. No. No one, literally no one gives a fuck that we're engaged. <laughs> Who wants to have sex more? Samuel. Duh. She has a higher sex drive. I can't help it, okay? Look at her. Look at that sex on her face. Do you get tired of each other? I get tired of her all the damn time. I'm tired of her now. No, actually, we were talking about this the other day. We were like, because... Were we? Where was I? You were there. Okay. No, but, um, so basically, we were talking about this and saying, not the other day, like last week, but I don't remember how this you and I moved to San Francisco and the fact that you and I only know each other, right? Like you have your, you like know your mm -hmm. people that you work with, but you don't really hang out with them. And like, 
We just like only know each other in this city. Basically, we only hang out with each other. We only hang out with each other. And like for many couples, that would not work. Like a lot of couples would go crazy and hate each other, break mm -hmm. up, whatever. But like her and I only have each other. So we were saying that we are surprised how we can actually hang out with each other 24-7 yeah. and not get sick of each other. Yeah. Drink every single time I said each other. Okay. You and <laughs> drink because. And then dial 911 prior to drinking because you're gonna need it. No, but like, it's true. We don't, we don't mm -hmm. get sick of each other. And I think that's like crazy yeah. because that's not like normal. Yeah. Yeah. We realistically just have each other up here. And yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, but like we actually enjoy spending time together. Yeah, we don't And care. you know, I think that's something that's like super important in like a relationship and at least one that like will do well is being friends. Mm hmm Cause I mean, if you're gonna marry and live your life with this person forever, you might as well enjoy their company. What do you do if Sam will not show herself in the wedding? Will you cry? Like Carmen and Shane scene in the hour. Like if I, oh, oh like, if you like if I run don't show up. You don't want to be with me. There are plenty of people who want to be with me. Not after I did that, but come on, come on, come on. seriously. Next question. Who's your favorite YouTubers? Love you both. Ourselves, duh. <laughs> Subscribe if you already are not. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I think Jenna and Julian probably. I was literally everybody. gonna say that. Honestly, they, they're just like so relatable. Like they don't, they don't try to yeah. be like this. Like, oh my god, so relatable couple because they're just like how they are, and people yeah. love them because they're so real. Yeah. So I would say that them. Yeah. <laughs> Are you more confident with yourself in regards to your body around Sam? Oh, mm -hmm. this is a question for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. No, I don't like showing my body off to anyone, not even Moose. I show my body off to Moose. No, I don't know. I've always been like this. It's been like this since I was a kid. I can't help it. And that doesn't mean, because people are going to twist my words, that does not mean that we do not have sex. That does not mean that I am not naked when we have sex. That does not mean any of that. <laughs> that just, <laughs> right? <laughs> That just She's means, in like a full body suit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, that just means like, if I were to get out of the shower, I don't want someone standing there watching me get dressed while they're fully dressed. Like that just does, in general, that doesn't sound like fun. Like if you were just getting dressed, you'd want me to just stand there and watch you get dressed while I'm all confident in my clothes. No, that's weird. 100% that's weird, right? I mean, you do it. Yeah, Sam doesn't care though, you don't care. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind, like, and I respect her, like, I don't know, I respect her in the sense that, like, I don't really care, and I mean, if she wants to, like, one day, like, get out of the shower, and I'm standing there, and, like, she's fine with that, like, that's fine, but I'm not gonna, like force someone to be comfortable because that never ends yeah well. this all stems from when i was little it does not mean i'm damaged it just means that i don't like being naked i've never been like this yeah. ever literally in high school anything i would always go into the bathroom and change into the actual stall i would never mm -hmm. for anyone i don't care who if i like you or not i don't give a fuck mm -hmm. so I'm screw when you broke up, did you stay living together? How did you end up getting back together? So basically when we broke up, um, we stayed living together, did every single thing that there is to do together, mm -hmm. except for basically act like a couple. So I guess the term lesbian deathbed is what it was, right? That's basically what it was. Pretty much. Do you think I forced you back into a relationship? Because I was low key, like you're for you're forcing me to be with you. Everyone knows that. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to be in this relationship. Help me. What made us get back together? No, I mean, if you guys don't know that we broke up, if you're new to the channel, hi, we broke up at one point because we're human beings. Mm -hmm. But basically, the reason that we broke up, 100, percent it is my fault. Obviously, I'm an idiot, and I'm always right. Yeah, no, but what what, <laughs> what it was was like I didn't know what was going on with my health. I was super stressed out. I like all the time. Yeah. Because not knowing what was going on with my health, what was going on with like yeah. my stomach. She was uncertain work. like with her own like path in life as an individual. And I think that that like, not trying to take your answer away from yeah. you, but I think that that like definitely sparked like a really large fire in Alyssa that like she couldn't contain and it was super overwhelming. And I mean, that's, 
you know, that's why I still stayed. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we still ultimately like yeah. did everything. It wasn't it wasn't anything that Sam did. Sam wasn't at fault. It was like it was like stuff that like I just needed to deal with myself and I didn't feel like it was fair to be in a relationship with someone when I was so stressed out about like so many different aspects of my life that were going on that I had no control over. Mm -hmm. And being in a relationship or not being in a relationship was the only one thing I could control. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, that is the video. Uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, hopefully it answered a lot of you guys' sexual questions because your sexual minds were all wondering. Wondering what goes on in this bed. I know, I know. You know what goes on in this bed? Sleeping. Because we are tired. We are tired. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And what else should they do? They should subscribe because we put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. Yes. And, and we will we're see fun. you guys on Monday. We love you guys. But don't make it weird. Always make it weird. Must be in deathbed. That's, That's not what this is. I know. <laughs>